Hey guys, welcome to SP's Gym. My video for the week ending January the 7th. Just some footage from the arm wrestling practice we had last Thursday night. You can see here Spencer, who is incredibly tough to train with because he has constant pressure, whether he's in the losing position coming back up to center or just uh, in general. And he has come a long way. And I predict a potential title for him in the future. Here we have Jeff Richardson. Jeff coming a long way with uh, his progress here, but decides to slip out and go to the strap. And I've never had a less fair strap put on by than Mr. Robin Boychuk in the background there. You can see my little plug for the ammonia sport capsules in the middle of the table that you'll get to see in action here in just a little bit with um, how we would use them in training and oh robin's taking them away Ready, and go. in a match we don't like to take ourselves all that seriously on our practices and on this particular one a lot of us were really banged up and really sore and a little on a little more on that later Ready, go. my side ah, pressure was all but is, gone no. throughout this uh these ah. matches here just because of the training I had done throughout the week. And uh, there'll be a little clip of that later on in the video. Our new guy here, Kai, first night uh, coming out to practice. I was going to the Winnipeg Club a couple of times. Uh, for a new guy, incredibly strong wrist. And a lot of tenacity comes out, hangs in there, jumps right into our king of the table rounds. Every opportunity he had. And then you have Mr. Robin Boychuk, who is saving most of his energy for his right arm, as we said in the video earlier. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard that or not, but he has a super match coming up with Steve Gaber uh, the same day that I'm pulling Jeff Dave. So February the 2nd in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. We're all going to be there. And um, a few of us have super matches lined up. Some other guys will be arm wrestling in the tournament. But uh, Not gonna do much, huh? Robin has trained. Well, here he is. A uh, little bit of the king's move <laughs> to the extreme. And on the floor he is. Back to Spencer. And starting to get tired here. Spencer's giving it to me a little bit on the table. Ready go. Ready go. Here I am just trying to open his hand up a little bit. And he's having none of it. Pushes me off the pad. But, as I said, constant pressure. So, you don't just pin Spencer, you pin him for a 10 count. Then, as you can see here... I have taken out the ammonia oh sport God. capsule. Get a little tired. Hey. Ready, go. <laughs> and Jeff takes me over pretty easy. But wait. Break the capsule. Take a blast of the ammonia sport. Ready, go. And it's a different story. And Jeff is trying to tear his bicep right off the bone here by the way. Not smart, Jeff. Not smart. Ready, go. And the press and he takes the win. A few rounds later, the guys have gone through each other a few times, and I'm back up at the table here with Jeff. Great group of guys to train with. And control on Jeff's part. So he gets back into a little bit of a hook with me, and then the control has shifted. And Robin here providing a little bit of an assistance to Jeff in the form of the strap around my wrist. Stops my hip, stops any surging I can do, and basically makes me be a static hold in that position. We go through a couple of these rounds like this until my gas tank is completely empty. 
and all this getting ready, like I said, for my super match with Jeff Go. Gabe on February the 2nd. Go. Now in proper keeping for this match, I will get into an overtrained state, but I will also take about 10 days off to rest him before the match over hey. Let's pull into it. Ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Now this is winding down the practice at the end of the day. And Jeff Richardson. <laughs> affectionately known as Jeff Jeff to our club. Finishes the day strong. And that's about all she wrote for this. <laughs> Now, these are the early rounds with me pulling Robin on the right arm. He's pulling Gaber, defending his belt against Gaber. Robin is known for being a presser. He dead wrist presses and he is incredibly effective at doing that and bleeding guys out. But as you can see here, he has worked on his top roll a great deal. And I'm gonna predict that he sweeps Gaber in straight rounds and defends that title. All I can do just to hang on to Robin here. <laughs> and here's one of the practice or training sessions we had leading up to this practice. Worked my way up to 100 pound flies, super setted with incline press. So as you can see, when I hit failure on the flies on the 100 pound dumbbells, they just come in and we press it out. Like I said, guys, it will be a video every week. Hope you like this one. About to pop up are my two companies that I'm involved in, CTFO and Soul Life. Make sure you check out the links in the video description. And, of course, remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos weekly. Talk to you guys next week.